Welcome back. Today is day 132. My name is Christian with today's daily Bible reading. Today we're going to be reading Acts 16, 1 through 10. Then he came to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a certain Jewish woman who believed. But his father was Greek. He was well spoken of by the brethren who were at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted to have him go on with him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in that region, for they all knew that his father was Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered to them the decrees to keep, which are determined by the apostles and elders of Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in number daily. Now when they had gone through Phrygia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Messiah, they tried to go into Bethania. But passing by Messiah, they came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after they had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, and I thank you for watching out for me and my family and those around us, Lord. I pray that you continue to give us your word and your patience. Lord, I just pray that you'd lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from the evil one, to help us forgive others and let things go. Lord, I pray that those listening to this, that you guide them in forgiving others and and dealing with people that may not be telling the truth, Lord, that you will succeed, Lord, that you sometimes fight their battles. Lord, I just pray that you're with people when they face situations of untruth or, or trying to get a point across, um, to humble ourselves and Watch out for others' feelings and how they feel respected or disrespected, Lord. I pray that you guide us in this and increase the love and patience we have for others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 133, go ahead and click on the link on the screen, and I'll see you guys in the next one.